perhaps appropriately my phone battery is about to die but just before it goes I want to just show you my two favourite knives in my uh, little collection. These two are from Taylor's Eyewitness which um, was founded in 1838 in, uh, in Sheffield and they come in these nice little boxes but the nicest thing is this in the box there's a letter it tells you something about the, the history of uh, Taylor's Eyewitness which is nice it tells you a little bit about how to care for your Taylor's Eyewitness knife on the back and it tells you about their no ifs, no buts, no compromises guarantee but most importantly it tells you this made in Sheffield entirely by hand Lee White, now Lee White is the man that made both of these knives um, he is obviously a very talented man because he has made two objects of extreme beauty as well as being practical everyday knives now I do carry these although I'm a little bit shy of carrying the uh, mother of pearl one just because I'm frightened I'll damage it and it's hideously expensive um, it was a present for my wife for my birthday now they are both Barlow pattern the Barlow pattern was invented by Obadiah Barlow in, 18, in 1690 sorry um, and that makes uh, Taylor's eyewitness seem relatively young at a mere 180 years old, but there we are. Um, the steel of the blades is pretty ordinary. It's probably, it doesn't say, it just says stainless steel, 420, 440, something like that. But nothing particularly special, though they did come very, very sharp. They are stamped on the Ricasso with... Um, uh, Taylor's eyewitness, and if I could get it in the light, you could see that. Um, a stamp Taylor's eyewitness, Sheffield, and on the bolster on each side, they have the Taylor's eyewitness all seeing eye logo, which is a, quite a common logo. You find that in uh, Schlieper in uh, Solingen Knights. So. Um, they have the characteristic long. Barlow pattern uh, bolster. They are traditional pinned um, design with a, a back spring. Back spring is um, file, file worked. They have brass liners and the mother of pearl one here then has uh, black I presume G10 uh, liners and then the mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is a fantastic natural material and whether that can come over at all in this video I do not know but it's just got such depth and such luster to it it is phenomenal um, these knives are by far my favourites um, the only problem I do have with them is that well <laughs> they're fingerprint magnets obviously because they're polished and uh, such highly polished steel but also they have a very stiff action now, that's, in one way that's nice because it produces one thing that I really like and that is that the end of the knife, when it's at half stop and when it's folded are absolutely flat as opposed to most um, folding knives where you know you, you've got a sort of slot in there where you can, you can see the uh, the guts of the knife these ones absolutely perfectly flat and square and that actually gives them quite heavy action but um, pay price to pay now I always think they'll loosen up one day but in the meantime I fitted these brass uh, openers which I have to take out here it's still can't do it at arm's length which allows me to open them. Without that, I just I just can't open them. But uh, these are uh, I think they're called some like quick studs or quick bars or something. Um, I bought them from the Bushcraft store. Anyway, they work. So for size, there is the traditional Victoria 
Victorian Ox Spartan, so they're reasonable size pocket knives. They're still uh, two and three quarter inches. They're well under the 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 limit for uh, UK carry. They're obviously slip joints. They are as traditional as a knife could possibly be. Generally, I carry them in my pocket in one of these. These are made by a guy called Simon Davidson, and I'll try and put a link to his website on the bottom of the video. Um, I have loads and loads and loads of these. All, most of my knives live in them. They're black or brown, they come in different sizes, but these ones, these ones actually were specially made for me because normally he produces them like this with, with two eyes at the top, um, which is great if you want to attach something like a pocket clip and a little um, mini lanyard so that you can pull them out of your pocket easily but they do restrict the width of knife that you can get in them so without the eyes I asked him to make them without the eyes you can put these knives in even with these clips on and other bigger knives like um, the De Villiers MP and things like that so that's how I carry them in my pocket I carry them commonly um, and I think they are, they are great everyday knives. They do a good job and if you've got better fingers than me and you can open them without the bars, the, they're being a fully flat grind. They uh, are very good for slicing things, really, really good slices. They came extremely sharp, unlike most Sheffield knives I've ever had. But these two, Lee White did a brilliant job with them. Thank you.